Hey reviewers and welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys have been well. And if you're new here, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Reviews. In this video we're taking a first look at the incredible 2022 Mercedes C-Class Saloon with a full review and drive to follow shortly. The 2022 Mercedes C-Class is a brand new vehicle from the ground up and I think it's going to go on to be one of the best selling vehicles of this year. In the UK, prices start from £38,785 for the C200 Sport and up to £52,125 for the top of the range C300D in the AMG line Premium Plus trim. I would definitely recommend going for the AMG Premium line as a minimum specification to ensure that you enjoy all that this car has to offer. Let's start by taking a look at the outside of the vehicle. The C-Class is a mid-sized luxury saloon and for 2022 Mercedes have really stepped up to the mark. The C-Class has always been stylish, however for this 2022 version, in my opinion, it's just breathtaking. It's the perfect blend of sporty luxury and refinement with a mind-blowing amount of technology to boot. For example, the new headlights. These are now digital, running at over 1 million pixels per headlight. They're so intelligent that they can track other vehicles and individually dim the lights for each targeted while still providing maximum visibility for the driver. This is a huge leap forward and no doubt will be a welcome addition for the driver and other road users. Regarding trim levels, there are four to choose from. This starts with sports and finishes with the AMG Line Premium Plus. You do get an excellent range of features even from the sport based model, however my pick of the bunch is the AMG line premium to get the best of the technology and styling. Engine wise you have the option of petrol, diesel or electric in the form of the plug-in hybrid. And if I were in the market for a new C-Class myself I would probably go for the C300E hybrid to provide the awesome performance and economy without so much as a whiff of diesel. Now let's take a look at the boot and interior. Starting with the boot, you get 455 litres on all models apart from the C300e, which has 315 litres. Of course, you also have the option of the estate, and I'll cover that more in the full review. Space in the rear for passengers is very good, and the ambient lighting really sets the tone. The quality of the seats and materials in the main cabin are superb, and tall drivers will have plenty of room. We will cover all of the safety features and technology in the full review, but for now, let's just say it has all of them and more. Now let's take a look at this new cabin. I have to say that when I saw the new C-Class cabin for the first time, it took my breath away. For years now, Mercedes have been consistently raising the bar and setting the standard in this segment. However, for a mid-sized luxury saloon, I have never seen this level of finish or technology. In fact, some of the technology in the new C-Class has come straight from the S-Class, a car that costs twice the amount. The new dash and the MBUX system are truly something to behold and I just wanted to sit there and find out all that it has to offer. From the new driver screen to the main console it's overflowing with technology and it's a real feast for the eyes. Mark my words you're probably looking at a car of the year contender right here. And with that it brings us to the end of our first look video. Of course this is simply a taster of what's to come in the full review and I can't tell you how excited I am to get that recorded for you. So stay tuned to our Facebook and Instagram pages for updates and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to make sure that you know when new content is released. For the time being if you'd like to see more Mercedes content I've already done full reviews on the EQA and the new sporty A250e plug-in hybrid. Links to those videos are on your screens now. So thanks very much for watching and as always, stay safe, have fun and I'll see you on the next one.